though we are learning new details this morning about the top secret operation that killed Osama bin Laden. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon this morning, this morning with the very latest on that angle. And David, we're learning that it was in fact a courier uh, that led U.S. intelligence to this compact uh, compound rather as, as far back as August. But how were they able to track him? Well, they got his nickname from uh, their interrogation of the uh, Al Qaeda operatives, and some of these were operatives like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who were held in those secret CIA prisons where they were subjected to uh, waterboarding. First, they got the nickname. Then they were able, about four years ago, to get the uh, real name, and sometime after that, they got his cell phone number. So they started tracking the cell phone, but he would turn off the cell phone. Uh, anytime he got anywhere near uh, the compound. So for uh, some years, they were listening for this cell phone, and it never showed up in any place that would correlate with a compound. And then last summer, he made a mistake. He left the phone, the phone on, and all it took was one phone call to give away the location of the compound. Unlucky for many folks, he did do that. So they had the compound, but there were actually, it seems as if, you know, few humans actually on the ground because they couldn't be too conspicuous here. Uh, no drones necessarily. So how did they finally determine that Osama bin Laden was in fact in that compound? Well, just from the fortress-like nature of the compound, they were uh, pretty sure that some uh, important terrorist figure was, was living there. And so then they put it under... Um, surveillance by uh, satellites and they would see this man come out of the main house and go for a walk around the courtyard as if he were trying to get his uh, daily exercise and he looked to be a tall man you couldn't tell from the uh, photos whether he was the exact same height as uh, bin laden but it was all uh, part of this uh, circumstantial case that was building and they watched this compound day after day until they could identify three families, the courier's family, his brother's family, and then there was this third family, which looked to be the same size as the family they thought bin Laden was living with, another piece of circumstantial evidence. And there never was a smoking gun, but it just all this added up to uh, the U.S. concluding it is most likely that is bin Laden's hiding place. David Martin at the Pentagon. David, thanks.